Okay, very pr briefly, in the last video, um, we I introduced this slide as the way of finding the calorimeter data. So there's basically three steps, which is one, to solve for Q, second, solve for M, and then three, find the delta H by dividing uh, Q divided by N. So this is the problem. 6.74, uh, when 23.6 grams of calcium chloride was dissolved in water in a constant pressure calorimeter, the temperature rose from 25 degrees Celsius to 28.7 degrees Celsius. If the heat capacity for the solution and the calorimeter is uh, 1,258 joules per degree C, what is the enthalpy change for this reaction? And then the reaction for the dissolution process is given below. Okay, so as always, we're going to start by writing down our information. Okay, so we have a mass of 23.6 grams. Uh, we have a calcium chloride. We have a temperature of 25 degrees C. We have a temperature of 28.7 degrees C. We have, it says the heat, it tells you here it's just heat capacity, but also the fact you notice that there's no mass or moles in this unit. So this is C. C is 1,258 joules per degree C. And it wants to know what the enthalpy change is, which is delta H. Okay. So the step one was to find the heat of the reaction. So since this is C, this is going to be Q is equal to C delta T. Uh, delta T is going to be typically is T final minus T initial. But like I said, I'm not going to worry about too much about the sign, and this is going to be an example of that. So I have 28.7 degrees C minus 25, and that gives me 3.7 degrees C. I'm not going to worry about the sign right now, okay? So my Q is 1,258 times 3.7, and that gives me 4,000. 654.5 joules. Okay, so that was step one. Uh, now, to ask yourself, is this positive or negative? Okay, so you see the fact it says the heat capacity of the solution and calorimeter versus this is the calcium chloride. These two things are not the same thing. So that means that I'm monitoring the temperature change. This is of the surroundings, not of my system, like the blast problem. So therefore, even though my temperature went up, okay, the system, oops, the system is opposite of that. So this is a negative Q right here, okay? All right, number two is to find the moles. So N is mass divided by molar mass. And so my molar mass of calcium chloride is the 40.08, so this is from the periodic table, plus two times the 35.45, gives me 110.98 grams per mole. So it is the 23.6 grams divided by 110.98 and that is 0 0.2127 moles. All right, and step three is to find delta H. Delta H is Q divided by N. So it's gonna be a negative 4,654.5 divided by the 0 0.2127 and I get negative 21,883 and the units for this are joules per mole and that is my final answer. Okay. So that one is my final answer. Okay. All right, we have another problem.
The next problem is 76. It's very similar. I really highly suggest that you stop here and try to do this one on your own and then come back and check to see if you get it right. That's the best way to do these type of problems. Um, but, I'm gonna, but you need to pause because I'm going to go ahead and work it. Okay. So um, a sample of benzene C6H6 weighing 3.51 grams was burned in excess oxygen in a bomb calorimeter. The temperature rose from 25 degrees Celsius to 37.18 degrees Celsius. If the heat capacity of the calorimeter and contents was 12.05 kilojoules per degree C, what's the value for delta H for burning one mole of benzene at constant volume uh, at 25 degrees? So here's the reaction. Okay. Um, so I have mass, and that is 3.51 grams, and that's C6H6. Uh, I have a temperature of 25 degrees C. I have a temperature of 37.18. Uh, this is also C, and again, because there's no units of mass or moles here, so kilojoules per degree C. So this is C is 12.05 kilojoules per mole, or per degree C, sorry. Uh, and again, it wants to know what is delta H. Okay, so step one is to find the Q. So the Q is going to be C delta T. I need to find delta T first. So delta T is simply going to be the 37.18 minus the 25 to give me 2.18 degrees C. Oh, sorry, 12.18 degrees C. So this means that my C of 12.05 times 12.18 gives me 146.77, and that's in kilojoules. Step two is to find the moles, which is mass divided by molar mass. So the molar mass of C6H6, six times the 12.01 plus six times the 1.01, gives me um, 78.12 grams, grams per mole. So this is going to be 3.51 divided by 78.12, and that gives me 0 0.04493 moles. And step three then is to find delta H. Delta H is Q divided by N. I should have told you earlier, and I didn't. This formula is not given to you on the formula sheet. So, it, oh, and I also paused here. So, again, looking at this, it says the heat capacity of the calorimeter and contents versus I'm trying to find it for benzene. Again, these two things do not match. So, this is of the surroundings again, not the system. And so, while this was positive, I actually get a negative 146. So, I'm going to have a negative 146. 0.77 divided by the 0 0.04493 and that gives me a negative 3267 and this is in kilojoules per mole for this one okay and so this is my final answer here okay all right, so that's the end of this video.